Welcome to the Datalinks Warehouse Manager 200 solution. This will demonstrate Datalinks batch traceable stock tables. From the point of view of providing the ability to do a stock take from within Sage 200, there are two options available. The first being the standard Sage stock take card, which is perfectly acceptable for the use of standard products, there was no batch or serial number traceability. Creation of a stock take card within Sage then enables the values that have been counted to be entered. Should, however, somebody wish to do a traceable stock take, as in counting the items that are actually in each batch or against the actual serial tracked items, then within the Datalinks Warehouse Manager suite, we have the ability to create a serial or batch traceable stock take card in the same way as the Sage stock take card is created. So, by a specific warehouse, a card would be entered saying these are the items requiring to be counted. The card will then display the quantity of items expected in each individual batch from Sage 200. So, in the case of the card we have created here, we have asked for a card by this one particular product and in one bin location. The batch numbers are all then displayed with the quantity Sage 200 expects to be in each of the individual batches, and as we count these on the handheld scanners, the actual counted quantity will be updated in real time. At the moment, we have already started counting and have counted a specific batch. And this is now displaying the actual counted quantity. If we log on to the handheld scanner, within the stock control option, we would choose the stock take button, scan the location, and then the product we counted. So bin number 121 and product white gloss paint, which is batch traceable, each batch number available in that bin location is displayed with no quantity if it's not yet been counted, but if there are any batches already counted, these will be displayed here. There are two batches already counted in this case. If we scan batch number 558, for example, we would then count the number of items in that particular batch and enter the quantity into the handle. This will return to the screen to enable counting for each additional batch until the stock take count has been completed for this particular bin. When the count is complete, we return to the stock take card in Datalinks Warehouse Manager 200, and from this we can see that batch number 558 has been updated in real time with the count and has no variance. A variance report can be produced from the solution to enable analysis and investigation. Further recounts would be undertaken on the handheld scanners, and once any stock take adjustments required are approved, a user with access to this area of the system may then post these adjustments by pressing the complete button. This will update and downdate the individual batches of the specific batch or serial number products which have been counted. Sage 200 is updated with quantities of the stock take counted and posting routine. For more information on any functionality within Datalinks Warehouse Manager 200, please feel free to contact Datalinks at any time.